Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word, truth, and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word, truth, and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the special bird, pushing the word, truth, and sincerely. And I say shout out to you, Akim, out there. And this is a, a quick sit down lesson in the news of uh, wars and rumors of wars update increasing in the last days. And this is a, a news article that I'm about to bring out in the news on June the 17th, 2022, at 12 14 p.m. on this uh, Friday noon. And the. Uh, highlight of this news article and it's read is from the defense defiance blog.com and uh this is a uh, published by Dylan Myasoff if I pronounce the name right and the highlight of this news article and it reads news I mean new aircraft carrier launch launches in China <clears throat> You know, because, you know, they have the uh, current uh, South China Sea dispute, you know, because you got a lot of uh, military, uh, you know, you got a lot of military operation down in the South China Sea with uh, uh, aircraft carriers and uh, warplanes, helicopter warplanes. And many other different things that stationed to, stationed down in the South China Sea, because you got China monitoring the situation down there, along with Japan and the United States and Taiwan and Taipei. So you know it's a lot of activity going down there in the South China Sea. Now I just uh, recently seen this news article, even though it was published last, I mean yesterday, I meant to say, and I had kept my eye on it. I was like, you know. Um, I was going to do a video on it yesterday, but I had fell asleep. But uh, today, uh, through the spirit, you know, I was like, let me do a quick little video on this, you know, because, you know, this is the increase of uh, the wars and rumors of wars and the nations shall rise against nations, as you've seen, you know, with uh, the South China Sea situation. It had cooled down a little bit, but, you know, expect to see uh, tensions escalate over there in the South China Sea because you got United States uh, being an ally and a partner and protection of uh, Taiwan. And I believe like last week, uh, I'm not for sure was it was the president or a spokesperson of China. You know, he was saying that um, I think he met with Joe Biden. They had a little conversation. And, uh, you know, he was saying that, uh, according to reports, you know, he was saying that, you know, he'll do whatever it takes to the uh, keep, uh, I believe it's Taipei, Taipei or Taiwan, you know, uh, keep them as uh, a part of China, you know. So, you know, uh, anything, uh, any outsiders that's allies with Taipei or Taiwan, you know, China would do necessary actions on that situation, you know, for making, uh, you know, uh, Taipei as a full independent sovereignty uh, country, you know. So, yeah, it's a lot of uh, tensions going on in the South China Sea and the activities is going to increase more and more, you know, that goes into the... Uh, wars and rumors of wars and the nations to rise against nations and different kingdoms against different kingdoms uh, increasing even more you know in the last days you know so I'm gonna uh, read the news article it says China's Navy's type 033 aircraft carrier named Fujin was launched on June the 17th at Shanghai's Zhou Zhongang Shipyard. It says the uh, Fu Fujin is the largest and most capable aircraft carrier in the China's Navy's fleet to date. The type 
aircraft carrier is a second generation China's aircraft carrier under the uh, outfitting for the People's Liberation Army Navy plan of China. And it says, according to the Naval News, the Type 003 is capable and seas to the U.S. Navy, right? Because they they stepping up their nuclear capability. And it says, uh, uh, the NIMS and four classes as its design is similar in many ways as the same time it is an evolution of the first Chinese naval plan carries that were built that were built on sovereign technology. <clears throat> the new air carrier is expected to use integrated electric propulsion IEP and elect electromagnetic compulse where areas preceding China's carry were conventionally powered and jumps I mean and launch aircraft and ski jumps <coughs> Salakia so yeah you know uh, you know China is stepping up its nuclear arsenal you know Yep, because these are the uh, signs of the times that we're living in with these uh, nations gearing up, preparing for war, you know, as we see that in the last days, you know, which is uh, Revelations 11 and 14, because we're definitely living in the book of Revelations as well, too. In reference to that, uh, 11, Revelations 11 and 14, the second world was passed, and behold, the third world come quickly, right, because we're in that stages of that. In the book of Joel 3 and 9, proclaim thee this amongst the nations, prepare war, wake up the mighty man. And that's what we're seeing of these nations uh, doing military exercise drills, creating uranium of a nuclear arsenal to their nuclear capabilities, uh, full exercise military drills training, uh, war type simulation exercise drink, uh, trainings that you've been seeing throughout the whole year of 2021 all the way into the year 2022 it been increasing and there was a new report i heard uh the united states and its western allies was going to and nato as well too and the western allies that's part of the united states you know they was going to uh promise the the uh, ukraine they was going to equip them more uh heavy artillery weapons because the war over there in russia ukraine is still going on even though they label that as a uh, Russian operation that was entered Ukraine back in uh, February, I believe, February or March. So yeah, you got tensions going on over there. Now this right here on the South China Sea with uh, China, you got the newest aircraft carrier, which is launched in China. So, you know, uh, China's got its uh, full preparations just in case if anything goes down, you know, in that South China Sea, you know, just like uh, the book of Joel 3 and 10, uh, let the weak say I'm strong, <clears throat> and that's what we're seeing, you know, let the weak say I'm strong with these other nations got this uh, nuclear capability, you know, uh, countries like China, Russia, Iran, India, Pakistan, North Korea, South Korea, now you got North Korea and South Korea. They trying to re rebuild their uh, relations between with one another. You know, after that little uh, incident of uh, North Korea firing eight missiles, I believe it's about like last month or a couple weeks ago. And then the uh, United States and South Korea, they had countered that with their own nuclear capabilities as well too. There was a uh, South Korea fire like seven missiles while the United States fired one in that region over there so you know but that's still not going to stop the uh, tensions going to increase with the uh, wars and rumors of wars because the wars and rumors of wars is increasing more than ever you know and I'm going to bring out that uh, scripture mentioned in there so 
So yeah, you know, we're living in the times of a... Uh, we're living in the times of a... Uh, women's wars are definitely at the height of this peak of increasing, you know. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, right? The reason why the end is not yet, because we're seeing more uh, prophecies taking place on the planet Earth. You know, we're going to see more upcoming prophecies, you know, in the book of Revelation 11 and 14, like I mentioned before. You know, second world was passed. Behold, third world coming quickly. You know, the increase of the nations, or ask against nations. Luke 21 and 9, you should hear of wars and commotions. That's going to increase even more. You know, and more prophecies with the MOTB, the Karagma. You know, that's going to come into play. You know, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Decision, that's coming soon as well, too. When the nations gather up in the Middle East, going against one another, you know, that's going to be coming as well, too, because we are we are in the stages of that, you know. Because we are in the beginning stages of uh, World War Three, you know. And it's gonna uh and it's gonna escalate into that point because we are entering in that time in that point, you know, of World War War Three. Because the second war was passed already. Now we are entering the stages of World War Three, you know. And uh verse seven in the book of Matthew twenty four, verse seven, for nation shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdoms, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, because you're seeing these uh, different nations going against one another. If it's from a verbal standpoint or economical standpoint, and then it's when it comes to time, it's going to get very physical, you know, with these nations, you know. Because <clears throat> I believe uh, the United States, they had, uh, I'm not trying to get off topic, but I heard. Uh, the United States, they had put more sanctions on Iran as well, too. I won't be surprised that the United States and the UN and the allies that's with the United States that's going against North Korea for uh, firing these uh, nuclear missiles recently, about two or three weeks ago, you know. I won't be surprised they put more heavy sanctions on them. So just like they did with Iran recently, about two days ago. So, you know, it is going to get to a point when, you know, they're going to uh, verbally assault one another, uh, economically assault one another. And it's going to get to a point where it's going to get physical, you know, a warlike standpoint, you know. That's why I brought out the scripture, you know, for nations to rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms, you know. It's going to increase even more and more, you know. And I'm bring out Luke 21 and 9, like I just mentioned, you know. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. In the book of, uh, verse 9, in the book of Luke, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, But when ye shall, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by, right? Because the end is not yet. Because we're living in that time of uh, these things are taking place on the planet Earth. You know, you're hearing these uh, wars and commotions, especially with the uh, Syrian, the Syrian border, the Israel and Syrian border clashes going on and off. And then you got uh, things that's going on over there in Yemen. Uh, things that's uh, going on over there in Syria, Iraq, an uh, ongoing situation, back and forth, on and off, you know. So these are a lot of increases of uh, wars and commotions, and that's what we've been seeing. That's why we've been seeing a lot of uh, these nations doing exercise drills, military drills, stockpiling on their weapons, creating nuclear uranium capability like Iran did. Russia tested its missiles, you know, in the middle of May, all the way into the end of uh, May of last month, you know, 
One of them was called a missile called Satan 2, I believe. And then there was another, a couple of weeks after that, there was another missile launch test as well, too. Just like what North Korea did as well, too. So, hey, we are living in those times of uh, these nations are definitely gearing up, preparing for war. Especially with that uh, time come. And it's definitely going to come as well, too, you know. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. In verse 14, in the book of Revelations, and it reads, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. Right, because the third woe coming quickly. You know, because we're seeing that the uh, signs, we're seeing the signs everywhere around the world. And particularly, that relates to, you know, these nations are gearing up, preparing for war. Like I mentioned before, you seeing these nations uh, firing their missiles, you know, <clears throat> doing uh, exercise trainings, you know, these nations that's allies with one another to go against their adversaries with a military uh, simulation exercise drill. Like I mentioned before in my previous videos about a couple of days ago about Iran, I mean, uh, Israel uh, did like a simulation attack on uh, Iran because they still look at Iran as a threat you know and I believe uh, it was day before yesterday it was another news article caught my eye I believe uh, Israel rejected uh, solutions to uh, the Palestinians or whatever so they rejected that just like uh, Iran I mean just like Israel still doesn't get the United States of them signing a 2015 revival of the nuclear deal, you know, because they said if the United States sign a deal with Iran, you know, that's still going to look at Iran as a threat to the world and look at as a number one threat to Israel as well, too, and with the United States. So, you know, hey, that's what you see in the uh, commotions of wars. If it's from a rumor standpoint, best believe it's going to come into a full reality as well, too, you know, because, you know, Iran and uh, Israel, you know, they've been adversaries for a while now. So I expect to see those two clashes against one another increase, you know, and then that's why, you know, with uh, China, you know, they've been anteing up their nuclear arsenal, you know, as I brought out that new uh, article. They had launched a new aircraft over there in uh, China, you know, and then that's moving further along with uh, over there in the chi uh, South China Sea, you know, because, hey, these are the uh, signs of the times that we are living in because these things are going to furthermore increase in relates to this, you know, and I'm going to bring out uh, Joel 3 and 9 in relates to, uh, you know, China with their nuclear arsenal, you know. And this is a scripture that I've been mainly bringing out in my videos as well, too, previously. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. Meet your plowsheds and the swords and the plenty hooks. Let the weak say, I am strong. Right. Let the weak say, I am strong. Because these nations, you know, like China, Russia, Iran, because the Heavenly Father is going to put that spirit back in into them Russians, you know. Magog, Gog and Magog, you know, which is in the book of Ezekiel 38. All the way through verse 7, you know, the Heavenly Father is going to stir, stir these uh, Russians back up in that warlike type spirit, you know. Especially we've been seeing going on, even though they label it as a uh, operation over there in the Russian-Ukraine situation, crisis over there. You know, then with the South China Sea thing, got a lot of tension stirring up, building up over there. And best believe is the tension is going to build up over there in the South China Sea. You know, because you got Taipei over there, you got Taiwan. Well, Taipei and Taiwan is together. I meant to say Salaki. But yeah, you know, Taipei, Taiwan, Beijing, China, United States. Then you got the United States that's allied with Taipei. And then China was sending warning to the uh, allies of America in America as well, too. Said anyone that approaches 
Taipei and trying to force them to have full uh, independence, which they have, I believe. So it's going to be uh, consequences of that, you know. So, hey, that's why these uh, wars and rumors of wars is uh, increasing more than ever. You know, the wars and rumors of war has been in increasing at an all-time high, you know. Because we seeing these things uh, taking place and unfolding in these last days, you know. Let me drop back and go back to verse. Drop down this uh, uh, verse. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. And what we are seeing is right now increasing, you know. Proclaim thee this amongst the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up right because we the heavenly father is stirring up the uh, minds of these uh nations that's gearing up preparing for war because the gentile which is the other nations outside of the nation of israel you know they gearing up preparing for war and then you know let the weak say i'm strong as well too in uh, verse 10 that i just brought out so yeah it was gonna furthermore increase you know in the last days you know so with that I uh, hope this quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii Awasha. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, and glory, and honor too, to your Hawaii Bashem, your Hawaii Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Uh, double honors to the elders, apostles, Great Millstone, Christmas Word, Truth and Sincerity, and uh, Shalom to the Akim. Scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out one to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out one to the Akim, uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, till next time, I'll say shout out one and a ball, ball, ball.